Okay, Ted, what's the problem? Hello, Betty. What's the problem? I haven't got a problem. I've got fucking problems. Plural. One away. Japan, a government panel, is calling for temporarily easing radiation safety limits of one millisievert a year. The panel says it will be difficult to restrict exposure in some areas near the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The board met on Thursday and proposed setting an interim exposure target. It says the limit should be between 1 and 20 millisieverts in line with the recommendations by the International Commission for Radiological Protection. The panel advised that the target be lowered as decontamination progresses. It says levels could be determined by region and that residents should have a voice in setting the limits. Setting an interim radiation limit doesn't mean the local residents can be exposed up to the limit. It would be an interim target and decontamination work will be conducted to lower the radiation levels. Levels of radioactive cesium touching the safety limit set by the government have been detected in rice samples collected from northeastern Fukushima Prefecture. Farmers are becoming increasingly worried as the season for rice harvesting approaches. Local government officials say that 500 becquerels per kilogram of cesium were measured in rice plants from Nihonatsu City. The figure is the highest in tests carried out across the country. The farmer whose rice was found to be highly contaminated spoke to NHK. It's not easy to express how sad I feel right now. I have done nothing wrong and worked very hard to grow my rice with care. So it is regrettable. I don't know what to do. Since the March accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, the central government has required that food be tested for radiation. Pre-harvest tests are currently being carried out on rice plants. On Saturday, the Nihonmatsu city government held an emergency meeting with officials from the prefectural government. It's really regrettable. The city will do everything it can to support farmers while at the same time ensuring food safety. Since some farmers had already started to harvest their rice before the test results were available, it was decided that they should store their crops until results of the post-harvest tests are completed. Also from Iwate, the season's first rice harvest from the prefecture hit stores in Japan on Wednesday. The new crop cleared tests for radioactive contamination from the damaged Fukushima Daiichi power plant. A department store in Morioka City held a promotional event for the popular Stome Bore brand of rice. The first 200 customers were given free servings. The quality of grain is better than usual this year. Thanks to the hot summer, the harvesting was delayed by September typhoons. I love rice. I'm relieved it's safe. Iwate rice is free of radioactive cesium. I know customers can safely eat this year's crop. Rice harvested in Iwate last year has almost sold out because of fears that this year's crop would be contaminated.
Japan, China, South Korea and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations are expected to agree for each country to stockpile rice. The pact is to deal with possible food shortages after natural disasters. Food security is likely to be a major topic in a meeting of foreign ministers from the Asian countries in Jakarta, Indonesia on Friday. Agriculture Minister Michiko Kano will represent Japan. In addition to stockpiling emergency rice, the ministers are also expected to agree to supply rice to nations in need of food. Final arrangements are underway to allocate rice stockpile quotas for each country. Japan would have to store 250,000 tons and China 300,000. In total, roughly 790,000 tons of rice would be kept. That is enough to feed about 13 million people for one year. Japan's agriculture ministry says the proposed multilateral framework is a rare international effort. Three people in Belgium, including an inspector from the International Atomic Energy Agency, are undergoing checks for radiation exposure. The UN nuclear watchdog says this comes after a mishap at a nuclear waste processing facility in northern Belgium. The IAA says the incident occurred during a routine inspection of the Belgo Process Nuclear Waste Facility in the town of Dessel. The operator of the facility says the three men were checking a container of radioactive material when it fell onto the floor and cracked. The IEA says the three have undergone external decontamination procedures and medical checks. It says Belgian authorities have sealed off the area and that no radiation has been released into the environment.